Resolution Revolution Week, and it's been an incredible week. And we finish with an inspirational story. It's a hot new memoir called It Was Me All Along, telling the story of a young woman who loses over half of her body weight and at the same time loses touch with herself. What should have been a night of celebration became a rude awakening. I made this chocolate cake for my 20th birthday party and I ended up eating the entire thing slice by slice by myself and felt such tremendous guilt afterwards. Andy Mitchell was a 20 year old, 5'9", 268 pounds. The number was just terrifying to me. If I'd only ever gained weight throughout my life, I just felt like at some point I'd weigh 300 pounds, 315, 350, and that just, it was sobering. A secret eater and sweets fanatic since childhood, food had always been her trusted confidant. I loved anything sweet, any desserts or cakes, cookies. I ate them when I was sad, I ate them when I was happy, and they just meant everything. Determined to stop gaining and start living a healthy life, Andy began her weight loss mission. I started eating better. I started, you know, cutting back on desserts. I started running, which was huge for me, and eventually just got into this practice of trying to eat mindfully. But the struggle to find a balance was just the beginning, because with each pound lost, Andy says she lost a part of herself. I wanted to make peace with food, and I had to kind of find a new balance, a new way of life. And now, her journey towards acceptance, chronicled in her new memoir, It Was Me All Along, has struck a chord with women everywhere. One calling it life-changing and powerful on Facebook, and another reader on Twitter saying, you are truly inspiring, and all girls should read your book. She has come so far, so let's see how Andy's doing now. Come on out, Andy Mitchell. You can do it. And look at Andy now. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you look so great. Much. And congrats on the book. It was me all along. It's being talked about by so many women because it's so honest. The idea that losing all of that weight doesn't have all the answers right. and that you were right. saying in the book I, I i thought it was so pivotal uh, when i lose when i'm thin i'll be this right. i'll be that yeah. and then you were thin and it wasn't the case no no it wasn't the case i mean you know i think it's easy to think that when you lose weight you know your weight has been the cause of all of your problems and for me, I found out when I lost weight that my problems were what caused a lot of my weight gain over the years. So what is the message, the takeaway from for women who, who sort of dream of that moment, a dream of looking like you and want to do it? I think it's finding a new coping mechanism outside of food. I think it's learning to eat mindfully, practice portion control, and just recognize that, you know, there were some good things in your life that formed who you were when you were overweight, and that's okay. It was always you, and just to kind of find a self-acceptance. I love the title. It was Thank me you. all along. And you've got some food. Guys, bring it in, because this stuff is delish. And the cake is really sort of an important story, yes. because you now say that yeah. this is the cake that you talk about. You ate the whole thing. Yeah. Made yeah. it for your own birthday, and now you can do it. You now can, you can, you can have absolutely. A, how, how, how do you do that? Well, first of all, I would never turn down an offer for cake at 8 a.m. But um, <laughs> this is just something you, if you're going to live a healthy lifestyle, you have to find a way to incorporate a lot of your favorite foods. So treat yourself, have this maybe a few times a week, and you will still be healthy. You can maintain your weight. And I want to ask you about a healthy lunch. Yes. Um, so the easiest way to have a healthy lunch is to have a salad. I have salad most days. You can always vary the mix-ins, you know, different proteins, different dressings. And I find it super filling. There's a huge amount of vegetables and sets you up for the day. All right. And why do we have, why are we looking at egg rolls and, and these lasagna yeah. roll-ups? Yeah. Well, yeah, these because are I'm great. Coming. These are wonderful. <laughs> um, so you just, you want to make sure that you are, you know, practicing, you know, moderation and... Moderation yeah. is key. And everybody We've got the recipes. I'm so sorry if we're going to black. It was me all along. And